pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. And uh, if I could at this time, if you have electronic devices, either silence them, turn them off, or whatever. And I thank you for that. First of all, I'd like to welcome uh, our special guests. Uh, good to see you guys. And, uh, and the parents as well. So thank you all for coming. Appreciate it. Um, okay, with that, <coughs> I'd like to call to order the Village of Messina Board of Trustees meeting for March 18, 2014. Ms. Wilson. I'm here. Mr. Carmel. I'm here. Mr. Shane. Here. And Mr. Alfred is absent this evening. Closing under one, open under two, approval of minutes for March 4th, uh, 2014 regular meeting. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Closing under two, open under three, Board of Officers and Committees. Uh, under A, Julie, you're up. And if you could, we don't have the microphones, and uh, I don't know if they're, so speak up if you would. I have provided each of you with a balance sheet and revenue and expense actual to budget reports for the month of February. A summary of the five major funds is written on your report. End of year projections for all the major funds have been submitted to each of you as well as the department heads. The projection contains actual figures through February and March through May are projected from last year's figures. Payment on the community center bond was processed in the last warrant. The total amount of the payment was $63,875, which was made up of $35,000 principal. 28875 in semi-annual interest. The next interest payment is due in September. There is $1,365,000 remaining on that bond. We have received notice of our next serial bond payment in the amount of $205,000 due to the New York State Environmental Facilities Corporation for the CSO project. This payment is due on April 22nd. It was a 0% bond, therefore the entire amount goes towards principal. The outstanding balance after this payment will be $1,435,000. The new assessment amount as, as supplied by the County Real Property Tax Office is $362,853,851. This is an increase of approximately 1.5% over last year's assessment and the increase of $5,640,000. I have one action item on the report this evening. A village resident who has received a grant through our home program mm -hmm. is seeking to get a mortgage through SECON Federal Credit Union, and in order for that individual to do so, we have to authorize the subordination agreement with SECON. <coughs> Make a motion. I'll make that motion. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. Thank, Thank you, Julie. Good job. Okay, under A, closing under A, open under B, uh, code enforcement. Where's that here? Right? Nope. Okay, looking under code enforcement, uh, economic development. Larry's here. Larry, anything for us? Uh, nothing. Three, four. Thank you. Fire committee. <coughs> we met and we may have an action item for discussion or executive session. Personnel. Uh, we haven't met, but we will be shortly. Police. Uh, we met and uh, everything seemed to be going well there and uh, no problems at this time. Chief, anything? No, sir. Rec, you must have something. Yep. The ice season is coming to close. March 30th, the ice is going down to the rink. <laughs> March 30th. Uh, shitty hockey and broom ball action still taking place to the end of the month, though. That was shinny hockey? Sounds <laughs> 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 like shitty. Sounded like. Play back the tape later. <laughs> That's not for publication. <laughs> it's going to be on YouTube. <laughs> Skating club are in there having their big inter in 
meeting <laughs> March the 22nd, 23rd. There's going to be 100, 150 to 200 kids taking part in that invitational. And they have, uh, they have judges flown in for their singing. It's a big thing down at the arena, figure skating competitions they're having. Uh, judging, uh, the squirt, there's a squirt tournament on March the 29th, which this is the last day the rink is open, the arena. The removal of the ice to get ready for the Rod and Gun Club Annual Expo, which takes place April 5th and 6th. The art, outdoor rinks are done. They had a little thaw there, and uh, Dick was saying that they tore up some turf up by the old Lincoln School, and the old ice is, is done. And there's still a couple of weeks left for the indoor ice, and if you want to rent it, give Rich Bropery. There's still time in between what they got. But as far as the hockey is finished, and we can see why, and, uh, <laughs> and everything else is done down there as far as the more figure skating for the clubs and stuff. Sure. Just the invitation. Yeah, that's okay. the end of my report. Thank you for that. Street committee. Water and sewer. Nothing. What was that back there? It's it falling into a pothole, Jimmy. <laughs> Who's That's on the like, street committee? <laughs> Nobody wants to fess up to be on the street committee. <laughs> okay, closing under three, open under four. Initial public comment period. Uh, this is when we invite anybody from the uh, community or whoever to... Uh, they have concerns, nice things, good things, bad things, whatever, to uh, uh, direct their uh, comments to the chair. Uh, you have five minutes. We ask that you keep it cordial. So with that, any hands at all? Do I see any hands for public comment? No hands? In the back. Yeah, I just, I'd like to add and recognize in the minutes that the uh, varsity hockey team really appreciates the community support, not only throughout the season, but the time that people took out of their busy schedules to travel to Utica to support this team in their efforts is appreciated by the group. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mayor, I'd like to add to that. I would like to thank you personally and everybody else who helped you uh, plan that welcome back to Lucina. That was mm -hmm. in. represents where, what six of our agencies will have, which works uh, in concert with the preparedness procedure that over 20 agencies in the community have. So this one's out, that one's in? This one is. Or this one is still, this is being revised. Okay. This is the smaller version that goes to 20 agencies. This goes just to the village agencies in-house. Okay, great. Thanks for that. Anybody? No? Okay. I'll make a motion to accept. Second. Uh, Mr. Carville. Aye. Mr. Shays. Aye. Ms. Wilson. Aye. Chair votes aye. Thank you, Chief. Well Closing under B, or excuse me, A, open under B, <coughs> proposed resolution to adopt a 10 year extension of the site lease agreement with Dank for the communications equipment on the uh, water tower on Browse, uh, Bowers Street. Oh. Second. Mr. Carville. Aye. Mr. Shea. Aye. Ms. Wilson. Aye. Chair both sides. Closing under B, open under C, uh, establish tentative budget hearing for uh, April 1st, 2001. At 5:30, just to let you folks know, we're in a budget season right now. Uh, I have to have my budget for the village prepared by law for March 20th, and uh, then it has to be accepted by the trustees. So that's kind of what we're doing here. This gives you kind of a little flavor of what uh, village government is all about. So uh, this is a fun time of year. So. Uh, do I have a motion on the uh, tentative budget hearing? I'll make a motion. Second. 
What, day, what day is that? April of Tuesday. It's our next regular board yeah. meeting. It's our board meeting. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Bob, yes, sir. Okay. Absolutely. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, closing under C. Oh. Open under D. <laughs> 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 